Hey guys, so this is me doing my Coraline doll interpretation. I've seen people who are doll makers do this. Um, I really love Etalon, and she has done a Coraline doll of herself, but actually made the physical doll, and I'll put that video in the description. Since I can't make dolls myself, I thought I would draw myself as a doll. Um, I really love Coraline, obviously. My last three videos-ish have been about Coraline, uh, just because it's like a story that I can keep coming back to, and I just really love how creative it is and how creepy, and it's like a perfect mix of like a story that I would want to live in. <laughs> like I would want to survive that. I feel like that would be an accomplishment <laughs> to survive that world. Um, but I really just... I can't think of anything else to draw. <laughs> um, and I really just have an animation project to work on that I should be doing. And maybe I'll do a video of that. But I just, the Coraline doll is such an interesting idea. And I have a couple of the dolls and figurines in my room on my desk to look at for reference. But um, I just, there's something about the Coraline story that I keep coming back to it. And I just really love Henry Selleck's work. Uh, at first, I didn't really like The Nightmare Before Christmas. I thought it was a little bit, like, just mishmashy. Like, it was too much of a collaboration between the two holidays, which I know that's what it's supposed to be. But for some reason, I just didn't like it. And then it kind of grew on me. After a while, I was like, you know what? The, just the creativity and just enjoying the movie as an art piece and not really, like, as a movie, like the story, I guess I didn't, I really appreciated more of the art style. And then I got to watching it more and I was like, Oh, okay. Yeah, I can appreciate this. Um, <laughs> so I consider myself a fan now. I didn't at first, but, um, I'm much more of a Henry Selleck Coraline fan for sure. I like Tim Burton's other work, but, uh, for some reason, Nightmare Before Christmas, I just, I guess I just didn't get the hype. But I, I get it now as an artist's perspective. It's it's really beautiful work. I never thought it wasn't beautiful. I just, for some reason, thought it wasn't my cup of tea. So, yeah. But Coraline, for some reason, just really grabbed my attention. And I recently reread the book, and it's so creepy. I mean, there was no way to do that movie other than, you know, claymation. Claymation was the perfect medium for this book. And it just it blows my mind how it's not popular um, in many circles. Like, it, you know, it's hard to find merchandise anywhere that isn't like on Etsy. Um, I found some really great stuff on Etsy for Coraline. But uh, I know that Loungefly just produced a Coraline bag, which I actually got for my work. <laughs> it's, just, it's so beautiful. And I got a uh, Coraline key chain, key key chain, ha ha ha, uh, for the bag. But um I just, it kind of makes me sad because I'm a collector of stuff. I really love to collect uh, movie things, you know, and uh, I collect toys from the 80s. I'm, I'm a weirdo. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> I just really wish there was more Coraline stuff out there, which is kind of why I do so many drawings out of it, because I feel like it needs more recognition and it needs to come back. I can't imagine them doing a remake of Coraline. I feel like that would be a mistake. Uh, but I don't know how else we would the media would bring more attention to Coraline. <laughs> I really don't know. Maybe like a re-release of the movie. Be like, oh yeah, come see it in theaters, Coraline. And people will be like, this is from 2009. And I'll be like, well, did you pay attention to it in 2009? <laughs> I don't know. It's just such a creative story. And I really, again, I wish I was like Etalon where I could make the doll myself or like pay her a commission to make me the doll. I don't know if she does commissions, but that would be so awesome if she did <laughs> to have my own mini me Coraline doll would be so epic. I'd be so grateful. It's just such a good story. And as you know, someone who likes to write, I just can't even come close to the, the genius that was this this novel back in, oh, I don't know. I don't know when the novel came out. 2000s, for sure. 2006 or 5? But, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to make a quick video. This is super quick. It's like only five minutes. But 
I just wanted to post a little update on what I'm doing, which is just more Coraline. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.